Hey guys, thank you for joining me again. We find ourselves on the last day of summer, and let's do a quick recap. In the previous episode, we were able to recruit another villager named Egbert. Here he is. So I gave him a house. Also, I assigned him to be a hunter, even though his skill is not that great. But we'll work on that later, because I'm planning to build some more buildings, since we have two more open spots available. So it's very likely going to be a workshop, and we'll see after that. I did free up... Uh, let me double check here. The kitchen. Yes, so that's where you actually... It, I think there used to be a tavern. I'm not sure if that's still in the game. But the kitchen, they will simply take the food from the food storage and cook recipes as long as you unlock them. It's not really uh, a priority for me. The workshop is. The other building might be a barn that I'm going to choose. Or herbalist hut. It's also very nice, especially in the fall when the mushrooms are there. But right now, we're going to do a little bit of traveling. We're going to go all the way to Danica because we have to fix Alvin's water skin. I prepared a little bit for that because I remember the lady that helps with the water skin. She also sells bags and some sort of winter clothing. I think fur boots or something like that. And that is kind of pricey. So I'm kind of preparing for that. We don't have a lot of money. Really not a lot. But I, I made some, uh, some wooden hose that I'm carrying around. And I think I made something else here. Simple bags. So I'm hopefully... I can sell those and buy some goodies from her besides completing that quest. So I'm going to make a run there and I'll meet you guys there then. We have arrived at Danica. Let's see where she is. Wouldn't surprise me if this is her. Great. She can repair it. What is she gonna need? She wants some leather. For a ladder, and she wants us to hunt two, well, either deer or boar. But let me first sell some stuff. It's not selling for as much as I'd hoped. 15 is really low here. So we have 707 now. Uh, let's double check on those items. So she has the fur shoes, fur boots. Fur shoes are pretty cheap though. Large pouch. Ah, stacks with, up with backpacks. Okay, I think I remember how that works. Simple backpack, simple large backpack, wow, stacks with pouches, plus 20 gro- I mean that is really great of course. Let's buy one of those, and then we have only 137 left. We can work on that. Have a good day. Where's my inventory? Ah, it lights up already. Great. So. Instead of 35 kilograms, we can now carry 55. We have to hunt some deer or boar, get some leather for those. There's a deer. I think we hit it. I think that was a hit. What a... what a chase! Almost traveled all the way back home. Well, it was a hit. I think overall at the short range the axe is easier to use than uh, than that spear. The spear is very likely meant just for throwing to help you with that early on. Yeah, that is her little crafting hut, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Great. Well we got that back. 
Now the problem is, is that we're out of money. So what I'm gonna do is, and I'm not gonna bore you guys with this. I'm gonna craft some tools here, sell it, and pick up the winter clothing at least, and maybe more. Depends on uh, how much time we have. Okay, so I was able to make some tools, got those sold, and I got a little bit more coin on me. And hopefully we can buy something else. The backpack is wonderful. Being able to carry so much more. But we also need some winter stuff. Uh, let's see, fur boots. Oh, fur shoes maybe. 255. 170. 250. I think that's the durability. I'm not 100% sure. Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, that's a lot of cold protection. Let's buy those. Do we have enough for a pouch, maybe? 390 for the large pouch. That will add another 10 kilograms to our carrying weight. Mm. Goodbye. Okay. Also, while I'm here, I want to see if there's any villages available. Oh, she really has good numbers. And... Uh, or not so, but yeah. Because we have Agbert. So we can still get a, a female to live with him. They're going to be a couple and uh, they don't even know about it. It's great. Hail, friend. I hope I have the reputation. Nice. Alright. So before she gets unhappy. Uh, I see they also have two skill points, I think, here. Diplomacy... Do we want to get more dynasty reputation, affection points while flirting, or more experience overall? I always go for the more experience overall. And then we have another skill point. We were doing that uh, strong as an oak, which gives us more health, which I really like. But I also like this one here further up on the tree, where you lose less stamina while you're running, or movement. Hmm. Let's finish this up. And then we'll make our way up to the top of the tree there. Alright, so we got a new lady. I'm in Gilda. There's really not much she can do right now. We can, we can give her a house. But we, we don't really have any workplaces available. And Well, she can work at the well, but yeah. We'll take care of that later. I will uh, build some structures and uh, get her put her to work. So she really has some good values here. This is uh, this is really good. I like this. All right. Now I do want to get that large pouch. So what I'm going to do right now is what time is it? Yeah, I'm going to farm a little bit more, and I'll be right back again, guys. Okay. So I was able to make a boatload of uh, tools that I can sell now. What I would also advise is usually when I do this, and I know that I'm going to stay a little while. I will actually drop the tools here at the entrance and go back out and gather resources and craft more tools and drop them all at the entrance and then when I sell them I just have to make a couple quick trips back and forth to take care of them. Also I had a crap load of berries on me that really helps with the because they give you food plus water and I think the term crap load might actually be very appropriate in this case because that's all I've been eating and well quote unquote drinking. The weight is not too bad, and it helps. The, you know, you can gather them anywhere, as long as it's summer and spring they're not ripe, and of course you don't want to eat them at that ca uh, that case, but uh, let's see. Uh, so a vendor here. Somebody... There he is. Let's get something sold. Okay. Let's get those Goodbye. other axes. I didn't make terribly a lot, but it should be okay. Hello. Whatever you need, I've got it. So we have 642. See you soon. I think she's in here, isn't she? Uh, she usually is, but not now. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's look at the icon. Somewhere. There we go. Well, 
do we want to get that large pouch or do we want to get some kind of fur hood? That's 25. I shouldn't be needing that though. A hat, that's like 5%. A hood, it's like 15. Yeah, but look, that's that's pretty pricey though. I don't want to... I really like the weight. I, I will buy this. I really like to be able to carry a lot more. Alright. Home sweet home. Now I do understand that it's the end of the season. So whatever we would do. We would be teleported home at the beginning of uh, fall. Either way. But I was hoping I could still turn that quest in for Alwyn. Because you can wake him up when he sleeps. As long as you have a quest for him. Or a quest item. And yeah I'm not going to make that. It's too late. What I'm going to do is, first of all, make sure I'm going into the correct house. I don't want to scare the crap out of her. And uh, we'll just see how it goes if we sleep. We should be coming back in fall. Oh, all right, a little event. A mysterious man came to your village. He claims that he knows a lot about wilderness and can teach you some new skills for some golden coins. Ask about hunting. It costs a thousand coin. And then he probably would give you a skill point or something. Yeah, we, we don't have the... Yeah, I, I wouldn't even pay him a thousand coin if he wanted to. I mean, we'll just decline. And we're in fall. I failed a quest. I pick a quest up in Danica, I think, and I yeah, I failed that one because I didn't complete it. I ran home instead. Maybe I should have done that quest in the night, because I could have turned it in. But you live and learn, I guess. Okay. Let's go out. Ah, the leaves are turning color, and there's all the shrooms. The perfect time for an herbalist hut, I'd say. So that's what we're going to focus on. Let me double check my quest. We have the one for Alwyn. Uh, yep. Then we have to talk to Sambor. Kill some animals. Eh, there's no rush with that at all. Yeah. Do I have any things on me that I need to drop off? Some meat, some berries. No. I mean, this is... Uh, this is looking great. I'm gonna build the herbalist. Hot and very likely I'm gonna put it somewhere here. I think that's a nice spot for it. Okay, so the herbalist hut is done. The interesting part about the Herbalist Hut is, and I think I can show you this, that the skill needed is not the skill you would expect from extraction. It's actually the survival skill that is needed, or what the system looks at, for the efficiency of your Herbalist, so to speak. So let me show that to you. Let's see who we can assign. Here you go. I was always thinking, you know, it will be extraction, but no, it's actually survival. So we have a second hunter here, who's really not good at hunting. Now, I understand that they have level 3 here, but... Um, he's actually deliriously happy, I don't know why. But okay, I think I'm going to assign her to hunting for now. And then we assign Agbert. Yeah, we assign Agbert because his skills are really slow, uh, low. Agbert is now the herbalist. 
and we want as many swarms as possible. In the ballot season, okay, which season is it? Let's quickly check. Oh, okay. So the morale mushroom is the only one that is not in the season. Well, we'll uh, just divvy it up. The mushrooms the better. Because you can use them for uh, for cooking, for stews and soups and stuff. I just have to unlock the recipes. And for that, I need to get money and coins. Do we want anything else? Well, they cannot really make any potions yet, so... Mm -hmm. Berries, maybe? Oh, it's a valid season, okay. Well, then... Uh, we'll just do shrooms all over. There you go. Ah, let's give 4%. 4%! day off. Okay. So that is taken care of. The thing is, is that we need to assign that lady then as the hunter. Okay. So that is taken care of. Does this need any... Uh, it doesn't need it, just do it with our hands, so that is perfect. Great. It goes really fast building now, because I can carry so many resources around, and logs, and stones, and... Yeah, that, that really makes a difference. We have nine buildings. Room for a ten, and I'm, I'm really thinking that I want to do that barn. I'm going to show you a little trick. Well, unless you already know it. Because I'm pretty OCD, so I, I really like my buildings a little bit organized. And the, the problem with the farm is, is that you can't really control the direction the farm is going. Uh, as you might have seen at the river there. I can actually show you this. Uh, farm. And then you want to put a field down. I, I can't really it's, see it follows its own grid. So it's not even to the road, blah, blah, blah. So what I usually do is in order to kind of make this look pretty. This is not a really good spot for it, but uh, this might be better here. Let's see how far this is from the road. So because we basically want to put the barn. Hmm, let's say we want to put the barn here. You know, kind of. So what I do is I go to the farm first and I put the farm field down and of course there's a tree in the way great 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 but this is the direction the farm will go either way so I'm gonna plop that down and then if I have a hole on me I have to double check I think I do uh... oh there's a shovel that's a hammer. I don't have a hole on me, for real. Okay, here we go. Let's flatten this real quick. Okay. So now you see the direction of the of your farm land. And what I can do then is I can say, hey, I'm going to build the barn. So I can kind of build the farm so that it's perpendicular, or at least beautifully aligned. I just have to chop some trees down. I want to keep some space here for a path, but ah, this is actually not too bad. So if I plop this down, now you can see that the farm is kind of, kind of even with the, the farmland itself. For the people that are OCD, this is uh, really satisfying, I think. And at least it helped me out a lot. So now we can just build a barn here and chop this all away, clear this all up, and make a really nice farm area. And I think that uh, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Well, not right now, because first 
I want to run to the town and talk to Alwyn because we fixed his water skin. The poor guy is, uh, is completely dehydrated by now. Uh, there he is. He's going to be deliriously happy with this. And as a thank you, we get onion seeds. Uh, he's asking basically if we had trouble with the quest. Uh, and he's really impressed with us. I envy you. So we have 20 onion seeds. And he will talk to us the next day, it says. How is life treating you? Best goods in the valley. What can we plant in fall? Well, we have enough cabbages. I mean, we're sick of cabbage. Spring or winter. Oh boy, okay. Oh yeah, it's all those grains, isn't it? Flaxseed not. Old grain is also spring. Okay. Now I don't know anymore. Spring. Autumn. Rye grain. Let's buy ten of those. Then we buy wheat grain. Ten of those. As the more people you get, the more time you actually will spend making sure they have food, making sure they have water, firewood, uh, as well, also their equipment and tools for the job that they're doing. So that also takes some time. But eventually you'll get a whole, well at least that's a plan, you'll get a whole streamlined machine of people that will cut the wood, process the wood and uh, create their tools for the other villagers. And then it's, of course, you know, really, really awesome because then you can spend longer questing and uh, making more money in a different way, I guess. I thank you for watching, and I hope I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.